Today we are going to show you how to post cash receipts in the ProFund accounting software. Since cash receipting tracks the receipts based on the receipt number, you will need to set up the starting receipt number. To do this, run the Source of Entry Maintenance under the General Ledger menu. Click on New, then enter CRJ for the Cash Receipt Journal. Enter the Cash Receipt Journal as the name. And in the box labeled Control Number, enter the last receipt number that you issued. Perhaps that was on paper. Then click Save. Once this is set, do not change it. Then click Done. In order to make cash receipting quicker and more efficient, I'm going to show you how to set up bill codes. Bill codes are quick codes you can use for reoccurring items you sell, such as permits. For receiving clients you invoice for, you would need to use Payment Post. We will show you how to use that in a different video. The first thing you should do would be to make yourself a list of all the items you sell. Include the name of the item, the price each if applicable, and the appropriate revenue and cash accounts. This way, when you go to set up all of your bill codes, you will have the correct information ready. The next idea is simply a suggestion, but it may help to keep your books in order. In order to make it easier to balance your bank statements at the end of the month, you may want to set up a sub-account of your normal cash for all these receipts to go into. You can think of it as a cash drawer. Then, each time you deposit your cash into your bank account, you can simply do a journal entry to move the total cash deposited out of the sub-account and into the regular cash account. This way, it will match the entry that the county makes or in the case of a township or city, it would be the entry your bank makes. Now let's enter this information in the bill code maintenance. Select Accounts Receivable, Bill Code Maintenance, select New, enter the bill code you would like to use for an abbreviation, if the item is taxable, you will need to click this taxable box. If it's not, just leave unchecked. And the bill code type is cash receipting. For the name, put a good description here, one that you'll recognize when the bill code comes up. For the quantity, you can leave this blank. It will default to one on the receipt and you can always change it as needed. In the price each, if this is an item that has a fixed fee, feel free to enter it here. This way, when you process the receipt, that price will default on the receipt and you won't have to remember how much it was. For the amount, just leave this blank as it will automatically calculate depending on your quantity. Next, list the proper account numbers associated with this bill code in the Revenue and Cash Accounts. Remember to use your sub-account of cash if you set that up to make your life easier. Then click Save. Now you will need to repeat this process for every one of your fees. Then click Done. Now that all of your bill codes are set up, you can start using the cash receiving portion of ProFund Accounting. Under the Counts Receivable category, select Cash Receiving. Select New. And then start entering the information. Received from. 
Your effective date will default to today's date. For the reference number, you can enter anything here, but try to be consistent. If you are receding for something like a permit, you could enter the permit number here or any other piece of information that is specific to the item you are selling. In the check number, enter the check number if applicable, or you can type in cash if the person is paying in cash. In the memo field, feel free to enter any notes here. These will print on the receipt, so make sure it is information you want to show up on the receipt. If your receipt is for an item that is not taxable, then you need to check this box. If your item is taxable, you will leave this unchecked, and then at the bottom where you enter your bill code, you will need to enter the bill code called Sales Tax. This will enable the sales tax to calculate automatically. When you set up the bill code for sales tax, simply put the sales tax amount in the price each box. If it's 6.5% tax, then enter as 6.5 in the price each box. Next is your entered by area. You can enter the initials for the person posting this receipt. Now you want to choose the appropriate bill code. A description will default from the bill code, but you can override it if you choose. As I said before, the quantity will default to one. You'll need to remember to change it if it is more than one. For the price each, if you set this up when you set up your bill code, it will default here. If not, you will need to enter a price. And in the total, there's no need to enter anything here because it will automatically calculate for you. Then simply click Save. Next, select Yes to print a receipt. Now you can click the Print button and then follow your normal printer instructions. You have just finished posting a receipt and now you realize you did something wrong. In order to keep good internal controls, you are not able to edit receipt and change it, but instead you will need to void it and type a new one. To void a receipt, go into the cash receipting and highlight the receipt you wish to void. If it was the last receipt you just entered, it is most likely on top and already highlighted in blue. If not, you can enter the receipt number into the Enter Cash Receipt Number to Find to bring that receipt up. Next, select Void and then OK. You will note that the receipt now says Voided before it. Now that this receipt has been voided, go in and enter a complete new receipt. This completes our video on how to set up starting receipt number, how to set up bill codes, and how to post and void a cash receipt. If you need additional help, please feel free to contact any of our support staff.